This episode of Too Many Spirits is brought to you by Scars Above. Available on Steam, Xbox Series S, X, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. Greetings! Let's drink Too Many Spirits while we talk about Too Many Spirits. It's, it's Too, too Many, many Spirits! spirits. This is a show where we drink our drinks and read your spooky stories. This is a special episode of Too Many Spirits sponsored by the video game Scars Above, available on Steam, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PS4, and PS5. And also stay tuned for a brand new season of Too Many Spirits coming in April. <laughs> <laughs> As always, we'll be enjoying a tasty beverage prepared by our cocktail maestro, Stephen Lee. Stephen, what will we be drinking today? Oh, oh boy. boy, he's pacing like a tiger in the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> like Darth Maul, looking I'm here at Obi-Wan. On unknown planet, Uncharted. gravity doesn't affect me. I see. Yes, yes. I can fly. On that side of the camera, it only is the, Whoa. Is the case. Is this like a spaceport bar? Is that what's going on here? Yeah. No. Yeah, okay. No, you don't even know why you're here. But I've been sent to control you with my drinks. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What's going on there? What are you making for us today? All right, today we will be making the Blue Guzu. All right. Well, what Is that it? a play on Burt Gr Ah! What? I'm getting forced down! Something's happened to him under the table. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. <laughs> Put on your Tron glasses. And In order to make our Blue Guzu, we must Blue Guzu myself. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I like literally heard the Daft Punk soundtrack in my head right now. Okay! Welcome back to my bar. Wait, can you greet us drink. like we're um, space travelers? We pulled into port. Can you be like, hello, travelers? Who oh. are you? <laughs> Give can, us a little hospitality. No, no, no. I can don't you, recognize can you, you folk. Wait, Steven, deliver it also in your best NPC impression. Yes, yes, like a robot NPC, you know? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see. he's got the motion. Welcome, travelers. Okay, that looks. What beverage would you like me to just procure for you? This is weird in the wide today. In real life. I'd love a blue guzu, please. <laughs> blue guzu for you. <laughs> to make the blue guzu, we must use this thing, which on our planet we call rumination. On your planet we call it rum. I see. I and okay. we want two ounces of it. Unces? Oh, cool. Is that space? One oons. Space Let's do that. <laughs> Two oons. And because I like you guys, three oons. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, oh, alien. What the fuck? <laughs> then we must add oh, 1.5 oonces of pineapple juices. Oh. That just sounded like you were doing a bad Jamaican accent. <laughs> <laughs> we had to shake very vigorously here because here on this planet, Gravity doesn't exist. Let me show you how to do 1.5 ounces. Oomph, oomph, baby. Okay. It's a little blue. Ooh. Oh. And finally, half an ounce of simple ketchup. You call that ketchup in space. Yes, yeah. this is ketchup. What do you guys call this in uh, on Earth? Syrup. Oh, is that simple syrup? Oh. Syrup. I've heard of simple syrup. That's simple like syrup? like ketchup with gravity. And now we must add Ise. Uh, <laughs> ice, yes. Ise. We say ice. We say ice. Oh. There's really no rhyme or reason to your language, huh? But it does seem like it's very informed by English. It's also extremely strange that you seem to be speaking in pretty much otherwise perfect English. <laughs> yeah. I was trained by a American bartender, actually. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We have been sent by the Lord Richter Swang. He came to this great planet many, many eons ago and told me about this recipe. You're telling me Ricky Wang yeah. traveled through space? No, don't you remember we strapped Ricky Wang to a rocket and sent him into space? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I miss that boy. He was the one who taught us the scar scale. The scar scale. A good drink that's mm. many, many scars. That's right. And now we strain this bitch into this. <laughs> Blue. Is there supposed Ooh. to be ice in that or do you? Issei? Sorry. <laughs> Issei. Issei. Oh my god. What is it? What do you call that? You are a special guest, and you know Richterus. He brought this to me, and he said, 
When your fine travelers come from my planet, serve them this. It is the Prosecco juice. How does one open this? Give it a twist, oh be boy. twisting it. This is very scary. Twist? What yeah. is twist? Am I twisting? Twiced. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Isn't it heavenly? Chug the whole thing. I don't know if that's technically champagne. I know that's like illegal oh. to call it that if it's okay. not. It's just Prosecco. All right, this is very is that delicious. Un unprofessional now. Lovely. A little topper. And finally, these. A garnish? A garnish, that's a good word for, I'm gonna start using that. You guys don't have a word for garnish? No, we call it tree plant. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty redundant. Garnish doesn't necessarily have to be a plant. It could be a, one of those little ginger things that I hate. Lord Richterus, do not forsake me. I have a lime. It's just a lime? And he said I must peel this lime in a way that honors his lifetime on this planet. So Ricky's been going into space with, and sort of acting like sort of a Jesus type to aliens. With bottles of Prosecco and bags of limes. And telling them to honor him with their lime cutting. What do you call that thing you're cutting with? I've never thought about that before. What is it? What? <laughs> you guys got to figure out language. Oh, look at this. Oh. That was pretty oh, good. Oh, that reminds me of old Ricky. Why does that remind you? Because I shit? actually ate him! <laughs> 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 so good, this is my planet. Enjoy your juice. Yeah. Did you um, <laughs> so finish the drink? Why did you just put the fucking lime? <laughs> I've never seen an NPC do this, but now I wish they all would. I think there's a glitch in the game. <laughs> Cooktails right here. Wow, well, lovely garnish. Oh, just, you just cooktails. You seem like you're walking perfectly fine in this sort of gravity. Oh, yeah, what happened to the gravity? I'm one? trying to mimic human behavior. Okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Excellent. Maybe this is uh, how they do it here on Planet Unknown. That's right. They make garnish make it impossible for you to take a sip of the drink. Hey, did you ever think that one of these days we'd be in space? Yes. You thought that? Yeah. You know, you're a visionary. Well, maybe you should try dreaming bigger. I guess so. What are we meant to do with the lime? Whatever you want, big boy. Well, I'm gonna take it out. Just lay your lime on your limes. Drop it. Cheers. Cheers. It's mostly just Prosecco sitting at the top of that thing. It tastes like a yeah. mimosa. I feel like and I don't mind it. You're gone. Fill your ice. It'll make it warmer. Why would I want to make my drink warmer? Because it's too cold. He commands us to. We are merely his subjects. I'm ready to rape. You know what? Not bad. How many scars are you going to give this? Scars. Scars. Scars, scars? are a good thing. Scars? Though. It's going to be an 8.5 from me. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7. Oh, you're very lucky. <sighs> Anything was below a 6, I would have murdered you and eaten your, your goo. Very scary. You would have eaten my goo? You'd want to eat in your goo. Is eating someone's goo a euphemism on your planet? Read the stories! Okay! He's gonna Black Widow my ass. A, a decent drink, honestly. Yeah. Story number one from user anonymous on Tumblr. The worst nightmare I have ever had happened when I was 11. A great age for nightmares. That's good, because it really has some staying power then. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say it had some stank. It was Christmas Eve and I had the flu. I've never been sick on Christmas. I was just thinking that. I don't think I've ever been sick on Christmas. That actually kind of sounds nice. I was sick on uh, Thanksgiving once. I puked my fucking guts out. Post dinner or pre dinner? Pre! Oh, that sucks. But then I had a nice empty bucket to fill. You have Thanksgiving on this planet? Thanksgiving? What? Okay. Okay. I don't know if it was the medicine, the fever, or a combination of the two, but to this day, this is still the most realistic dream I have ever had. Oh, I'm excited. Fever dreams are fucked. I woke up in the dead of night, unable to move because the claymation reindeer and elves from the beloved Christmas classics nice. had strapped me down to my bed with multicolored lights. Okay, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna get freaky? The elves brandished sharpened candy canes. Oh, shit. To poke me with. You can get those things sharp. You ever just take one of those and... That's right. You can whittle that down. You can probably kill somebody with that. Yeah, very scary. I bet you they don't hand out candy canes at prisons, like around, can you know, like Christmas time. Yeah, you make a little shiv out of those. While the reindeer use their antlers. <laughs> <laughs> but reindeer antlers look so fuzzy and they're like got nice little nubs. I've always just wanted to like, you know, <laughs> to pet one. I'm sure you have. <laughs> Filling that nub up. They look so soft. Well, those may be soft. It's the opposite of what's happening with you, huh? They chortled gleefully amongst themselves, taking obvious pleasure from my fear. Tiny me was absolutely terrified. 
The worst part was when I realized I was dreaming and tried to open my eyes, but they were already open! This is a classic sleep paralysis situation. I, I, I guess so. I remember I used to have a recurring dream like this a lot when I saw Phantasm. I kept trying to open them more and more, but those little clay bastards just kept laughing and stabbing and holding me down. That's actually pretty scary. Like if your eyes are open, but you know they're really not, so you're trying to open them more and more. It's like that Aerosmith song. Which one? I don't want to close my eyes! That's on brand because we're in space. That's right. Finally, I was able to wake up enough for the dream to fade. 20 plus years on and I still hate those stupid claymation movies. I love claymation. Uh, uh, that's gonna affect my score, I'll tell you that. What's the scarometer of this one? How many scars out of scarometer? scars? Scarometer? Out of 10. Out of 10. That's, that's a three. Seven scars. You gave that seven scars? Seven scars for me. What worked for you in that one? I'm curious. I like claymation. Oh, that's so fun. That's so fun. I feel that. <laughs> I vibe with that. Well, apparently not. You gave it three well, scars. It wasn't very scary to me. I'm gonna dock points for any sort of sleep paralysis story in general. I see, I, I see. I don't find them very compelling. And the Rankin Bass slander at the end, I think, was a little uncalled for. I'm gonna launch this into that into the atmosphere. Oh yeah. Whoa! And it looked wow, like it, it went, went all, all the way, way up, up there. there. Wow. And it flew out. Hey! What? You come to my planet and throw stuff into the air? Yeah, but yeah. It, it just kept going, so it didn't land on the planet. That's a fine. That's a fine. Let me see how much of the fine is. Whoa, oh, what? Wow. He's got like Google Whoa, Glass. Oh my God. The fine is for 500 chingleberries. <laughs> chingleberries? I'm looking around for some chingleberries. I mean, do you have change for a thousand chingleberries? I'll get picking after this episode. Okay, go pick them. Yeah, he'll go forage. Yeah, I'll go forage. <laughs> All right, this comes from user Marauders oh. on Tumblr. When I was younger, I had this reoccurring dream that if you read a poem on my mom's bedroom wall, okay. you, you would get dragged underneath her bed. What was the poem though? Was it I, like, like written on the wall? Like when you're sliding into first and you feel- Feel something first. burst, diarrhea. I don't think she had diarrhea written on her wall. <laughs> Unless of course she had diarrhea written on her wall in diarrhea. You ever thought about that? Having diarrhea, sticking a quill in there and using it? <laughs> no. To write? You don't think Why so? Why do you earthlings talk about diarrhea so much? Do you poop? What's poop? <laughs> and into an alternate reality where everyone was purple. This was really scary to me because in the dream I had to fight these purple avatar looking things that were supposed to be alternate versions of my family. I love this. E I love how dense this is. Each member was a level of this fucked up video game like shit and I could never make it past my dad's level. <laughs> my dad's level. Oh, so each family member was a level. Yeah. Who would be the final boss in your family? Maybe it would be my brother. You get into brotherly fights as youths, so, you know. Me and my brother never fought. If I asked Jake, he'd probably be like, Ryan was the scariest guy I've ever No, we've never fought. We only fought one time. It would probably be my mom. She would be the final boss. I agree. I could never make it past my dad's level. Looking back on it, I could definitely take him in a fight. <laughs> Even though he looked like Gladiator Thanos while I'm sitting here built like the Applejack cinnamon stick. Do you think you could take your dad? I think it'd probably be a draw. My, yeah. my dad and I would probably just brew up some tea and sit out on the porch. But what if you're in like some sort of like weird, like we're in space right now, some sort of like Star Trek arena and they, they throw put you, you in an arena. And they throw you like one sword yeah. in between. Lock, lock. Oh no, wait, so what's the proper way to dispose of this? You gotta throw it into the atmosphere. You have to eat it. I have to eat it? Yes. You don't have trash here? You just eat your trash? Yes. Evolution. That's very smart. But I can't do that. Hey! Whoa! Uh-oh, looks like I'm in the hole. 500 chingleberries. <laughs> we're, we're getting into debt here. Uh-oh. Oh, he's, he's calculating. I did it unknowingly. This, this was flagrant disregard. You die. I die? <laughs> you die. How many scars do we give this one? That's an eight. To me, it's a 9.5. Eight scars. 9.5 scars. Thermometer. Yeah, I loved the um, rich details of this fucked up world. Usually, when people are like, I had scary dreams as a kid, they're so mid. This one was like, if I read a poem on the wall of my mother's room, I get transported to a world where everyone's purple and I have to fight my dad. Yeah, in games. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. really good. And, and each level is a different version of your family members. <laughs> you know what? What the fuck am I yeah, doing? Yeah, I was about here? to say, why did, why did you have it at 0.5? I don't know why I deducted anything. That's 10 scars, okay? Oh, man, 10 he's, scars. He's scars fully loaded now. Yeah, scars fully loaded. I'm still keeping mine at an eight. It's just because I had a scarier dream of my dad. And it was that dream where he would look at me through a window, but he had Inspector Gadget teeth. Big teeth, big teeth. I don't You've know. You've got why. a scary dad. I, in the dream, I do. And in real life. This is from IDK What I'm Doing Here 1044. Once when I was a kid, I had a dream where me and my classmates were aliens and had to go through underground tunnels to get food. 
And there was another species with button eyes. I was incredibly scared of button eyes then. What do they mean? I think eyes? like a little dolly. Uh, put the camera on me and we'll put some button eyes on me and post. Ah! Oh, like Annabelle. Ah! Like Annabelle or have you seen Coraline? Yeah, I've seen Coraline. Like Other Mother. They got food by their face appearing on the wall of the tunnel. And when they opened their mouth, they would suck everything in the tunnel into their mouth. What and I was in the tunnel <laughs> and died. What the frick were you smoking when you dreamed this up? You're in a tunnel. Yeah. A big face appears in the wall of the tunnel and goes yeah. and sucks sucks in the food. Oh, like the tunnel eats you. Kind the of. tunnel kind of eats you. I know it's not scary, but it was horrifying at the time. Woo! <laughs> uh, oh no! What's happening over there? Oh fuck! Sorry. I is it okay that I did that? No. It's a six. That's five scars for me. Pretty six middle of the road. Scars. Middle of the tunnel. I forgot to say scars, six scars. Yeah, yeah. That's five scars for scars. me. Scars. <laughs> That's five scars for me. We're coming on the tail of a truly incredible story. This equally good. I like the uh, inventiveness with faces and walls sucking people in. I like the cosmic Cheshire cat tunnel guy. Yeah, that's fun. Good elements. Overall, not the most gripping story because it, there was no story. But <laughs> <laughs> it's just sort of, hey, I was here and these were also there. You know, not really a three act structure. I need a, a bit of a hero's journey. And why was it a five for you? Just felt like it. Okay, love it. Next story. From Tumblr, a user is a lovely lady, Lavi. Ever since I was a child, mm. I had scary dreams in a weird set dreamland. One night, I was chasing all my nightmare creatures down an alleyway because apparently I'd had enough of their nonsense. I was gonna say, it doesn't sound like you know, nightmare creatures if you're chasing them. That's never happened in my dreams. I've I, never gotten the upper hand. I've always wondered what it would be like to be a lucid dreamer in a nightmare. I'd love to fight Michael Myers. I had a dream the other night that I got killed in the street and then I woke up. That wasn't a dream. At the end of the alley, they disappeared into a portal of white light. The last to go was a very verbally aggressive rat. <laughs> okay. What? He turned around, shook his tiny fist, and declared, We'll be back! <laughs> Then jumped in and vanished as well. <laughs> That's appeasing you, because you're a big rat guy. I'm a big rat guy. You like rats? Yeah. Some of the people on the internet think you look like a rat. I vibe with that. I like rats. Rats are cool. I never want, I don't want one. You know, some people have rats as pets. No, no, no. Listen, do not send me rats. I hope someone sends you a rat every day the rest of your life. I'll put it down your pants. I woke up the next morning to my sister telling me that she had a weird dream. I said I had too. And she told me hers first, saying, I killed a rat in my dream last night. Oh, fuck, dude. Rats, rats, rats. They're dream surfing together. When you think about it, aren't video games the closest we can get? Scars above. That's right, scars above. Available on Steam, Xbox Series S, X. I wish there was Xbox this. Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and <laughs> you know I'm gonna say it, PlayStation 5. I wish there was a thing that was kind of like dreams, but you were awake and you could play around in them and then maybe you could have a friend join you. Are you thinking of playgrounds? I asked, was it yelling? Referring to the rat being it? And then the sister says, yeah, so weird. It was down a sewer drain like the creature from it. I reached down and it squished it with a cinder block. <laughs> That just sounds like animal abuse. <laughs> she killed my nightmare rat for me. That's a nice gesture to crush a nightmare rat with a cinder block. That's the end. It must have been a pretty satisfying noise. That's just a little, little thing for him there. I give it nine scars above. I really like that. I'm gonna give it 10 scars. Hey! I'm gonna give it 10 scars above your nine These are some scars. rich and compelling uh, worlds that we're hearing about today, much like uh, the world of Scars Above, which is also very rich and compelling. Available on Steam, Xbox Series S, X, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Soon heading back to our home planet, but we have one final story. Do you know where the final story is? No. Is it in this loot box? No, you dare open that box. What happens if we do? No, you dare open that box. What's in the box? What's oh. in the box? Oh. Oh. You open the box? Yeah, yeah I open the box. It's glowing in there. Ryan, get the thing out of there. Wait, can I put my hand in here? Oh. Ah! Ah! No, just kidding. We're just, just kidding. kidding. Just right. kidding. Uh, my hand's fine. Sorry, it's Kevin. Fine. That's a good bit. Both of us are really good at comedy. <laughs> This comes from user cold hands sunken eyes. This is from Tumblr. 
I once had a nightmare where I was part of a group sacrifice for a hot, sexy vampire <laughs> cult. Okay. Okay. Let's strong, take a, I'm going to take a sip. For the, what <laughs> Wait, promises to be a very strange story. I didn't hear the end of the sentence because I was laughing so hard. Hot, sexy vampire what? A sexy vampire cult. A cult. A I see. Cult. I thought there was going to be like a weird vampire gangbang. A fangbang. <laughs> you... <laughs> That's very funny. That's pretty good. We have gangbangs here too. You've got... <laughs> You've got gangbangs here. Do you yeah. all wear those glasses and just nothing else? Just the glasses? The other sacrifices of this cult, <laughs> excuse me, and I were being led through thick snow-covered woods to a dingy cave thing. The cult lair, I guess. This is quite picturesque. This is nice. It's like that uh, little cave where the witch grinded that baby into butter in the witch. Somehow we were able to distract and run away from the vampires. Initially, I was able to keep up with the group, then, I kept falling further and further behind. Oh, that always happens in a dream. You can never run fast enough. What is the deal with that? That's usually my giveaway now when I know I'm in a nightmare is because like someone will be chasing me, about to kill me in the street. Nice. And I try to run away, but your legs just feel so heavy. It's almost like you with earth gravity, you would have a very hard time with it. Fear was starting to set in as I realized I was going to die. Yeah. Exhausted and to the point of tears, I didn't see where I was going and tripped and fell into a mound of frozen snow. Brrr. And was, what are you, Migos? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Little ad-libs, brrr. <laughs> Skeet, <laughs> brrr, brrr, ha. <laughs> frozen snow and was cut slash scratched enough where I was bleeding. Soon enough, the vampires caught me. One of them bent down and whispered into my face. What did you whisper? <laughs> Looks like you can't keep up with your friends, even in your dreams. You're a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> and then I woke up. So not, not even a terribly scary ending. Yeah. If you're being marched by vampires to a cult ceremony where they're gonna kill you, yeah. the worst outcomes are you're sacrificed by a bunch of vampires where they bite you, you become a vampire, which is sort of bad, but also kind of sexy. Yeah. I feel like best possible outcome here is a vampire just calling you a fucking loser. I mean, is it? Because that will mentally scar you for the rest of your I wouldn't life. care, honestly. I wouldn't care. I guess I would be scared that he was going to kill me, and then if he whispered that, I'd just be like, mm, he knows me. That's, That's a 10. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> That's 10. Too, too many scars! That's too many scars! 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 I gave him a little vampire face. Oh, nice. The ending zagged on me. It did. Are a you... genuine 10. A genuine 10 from me. Me too. We're not milking this because we try to, you know, ask them to save the best stories for last, but I genuinely enjoy no, this. There's 10 scars in here. That's 10 scars. Are you attracted to vampires? Do you think they're sexy? You seem like yeah. a vampire guy. I think I would be, yeah. I used to go to sleep in turtlenecks they're because almost, I was scared they would bite my neck. They're almost to too sexy, though. It's like they're too, like, they're just all about, like, the carnal desires. And it's like, you gotta live your life, man. I just didn't like the idea that they could bite me and then I would be a vampire the rest of my life. That would suck. I'll tell you what, you don't have to worry about it because there's no vampires in Scars Above available on Steam. You can tell Xbox that to Series me. SX. Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. You're gonna love it! What should I do with this story? Send it to space. Wow, look at it go! It turned into a shooting star. Look at the, the little bling in the sky. Isn't yeah, it's gorgeous? like it's like putting a note in a bottle in the ocean. Yeah. I'm punishing you both. The same way I punished Lord Richteris when he visited our planet. For breakfast two and breakfast three? When the cameras are off, we will be enjoying our time together as they close. Yeah, you want these glasses? They're pretty cool. Actually. That's how. <laughs> to be clear, you're going to eat us, is that? Uh... Whoa! Is it cool? Everybody's naked. Whoa. What? <laughs> Folks, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to check out Scars Above, and we'll see you next time. Farewell! From, from space. Are you okay? What are you looking at there? Okay. <laughs>